Cordillera Central Luzon. The Cordillera Central or Cordillera Range is a massive mountain range 320 km 198 miles long north south and 118 km 73 miles east west. The Cordillera Mountain Range is situated in the north central part of the island of Luzon in the Philippines. The mountain range encompasses all provinces of the Cordillera Administrative Region of Bra, Apeyao Bengt, Ifugao Kalingal and Mountain Province, as well as portions of Eastern Ilocos Nort, Eastern Ilocos Sur, Eastern La Union, Northeastern Pangasinan, Western Nuva Vizcaya, and Western Cagayan. To the north, the mountain range terminates at the northern shores of Luzon along the Babayan Channel in Ilocos Nort and Cagayan provinces. At its southeastern part, the central cordillera is linked to the Sierra Madre Mountains, the longest mountain range in the country, through the Carabello Mountains in Nueva Vizcaya province. During Spanish colonial period, the whole range was called Nueva Provincia, New Province. Geography, Geography, Geography The Cordillera Central is the highest mountain range in the Philippines. It comprises about 1-6 of the whole Luzon Island, with a total area of 22,500 to 8,700 sq. The highest mountain in the range, Mount Pilag, is also the highest mountain on Luzon Island at 2928 meters 9,606 ft. It is officially the third highest mountain in the country after Mount Dulang Dulang and Mount Apo on Mindanao Island, the second largest island of the Philippines. The mountain range separates the Ilocos Plains on the west and the Cagayan Valley on the east. It also affects the weather pattern in the island of Luzon in such it acts as a barrier against the northeast and southwest monsoons as well as cyclones crossing the island. This is the biggest and highest mountain chain in the Philippines, measuring 320 km 198 miles long north to south and 118 km 73 miles with east to west and consists of three ranges. The Malayan range is located in the northern and western portion of the Cordillera, followed by the central range, and then the Polis range in the eastern portion. Mount data contains the headwaters for Sayak, which flows into the Abra River, the Chico flows into the Cagayan River, the Asin flows into the Magat River, and Agno River flows into the Lingayan Gulf. Volcanoes Three volcanoes with no historical eruptions, but still thermally active, are located within the Cordillera Central. Mount Bainuluan, 2329 meters 7,641 ft high in Kalinga Province, has active sulfatars and thermal springs. Mount Patok, 1865 meter 6,119 ft high, about 6 km 3.7 by north of Bontoc Town proper in Mountain Province, has several thermal springs in Barangay Mainit, Bontoc, on the western slope of the mountain. Mount Santo Tomas, 2260 meter, 7410 ft high in Tuba, banked near Baguio, has Asin Hot Springs on its western slope. Protected Areas Valvalasing Valvalan National Park, Casamata Hell National Park, Lower Agno Watershed Forest Reserve, Mount Dita National Park, Mount Pilag National Park, Northern Luzon Heroes Hill National Park, Upper Agno River Basin Resource Reserve, Horse 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 Reserve. Waterfalls List of waterfalls in Cordillera, Phalantamal Falls, Hungduin. Finanga Falls, La Trinidad, Palmat Ok Falls, Sagada, 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 Bridal Veil Falls, Tuba Rules, Tuba Rules, Tuba Rules, Hydro Falls, Tuba, Falls, Tuba, Bogles, Tuba Rules, 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 Two bubbles, two bubbles, two bubbles, two bubbles, two bubbles, two bubbles. Caprican Falls, Tainan.
Patton falls back on us, back on us, back on. Pongus falls, Sagada, Sagada, Sagada. Pungit falls, Tinglean. Tapia falls, Banal. Teniktog falls, Meliao, Meliao. Towing falls, Sablin. Environment. The mountains support a number of different types of habitat. Elevations above 1,000 meters, 3,000. Elevations below 1,000 meters are in the Luzon rainforests of Corgin. Two major problems threaten the environment of the Cordillera. Dam projects flood river valleys and remove habitat and also cause people to flee their houses and seek refuge in other areas. Mining projects destroy forest areas and also don't create wealth and resources for the upkeep of the tribal lands. People Inhabitants Most of the Cordillera Central is the ancestral domain of the people of the mountains. These ethno-linguistic groups include Abraitneg, Apeo Apeo, Bengt Kankani, and Ibaloi Ifugao Ifugao, Kalinga, Kalinga, and Mountain Province Bontok and Kankani. Each of these major ethno-linguistic groups has its own family of languages and cultures. An alternative listing for the northern Philippine tribes is Apeo slash Asnag, Abra slash Tinguim, Kalinga, Gadang, Apply Bontok, Bago I Lagod, Kankana I Kankanai Balangao. Ibaloi Ifugao, Ikalahan, Kalinguya, Karao, and Ilongit. Culture and Language Beside their own tribal cultures, there is a Cordilleran culture, which is largely molded by the geography of the Cordilleras and their common heritage of resisting the invading imperial powers of Spain, U.S., Japan in the past and after 1946, the central government in Manila, is also regarded as such, including the continuing adverse encroachments by lowlanders. Economy The Cordillera Central is one of the country's richest regions in terms of natural resources, a major resource base of the Philippines. It contains 11% of the total area is agricultural rice fields, orchards, pig farms, and pasture lands. 60% of the country's temperate vegetables are produced in the area. It is the country's premier mining district. There are eight big mining companies operating which are mostly foreign-controlled. Some 80% of the total Philippine gold production comes from the Cordillera. The range is also home to the headwaters of the major rivers in northern Luzon, with several dams which include the Ambuklao and Bingo in Bank. History The Philippines named after King Philip Roman II of Spain in 1618, was already of interest to Spain before the Spaniards even reached the land. In 1565, reports of huge gold mines in the Cordillera reached the Viceroy of Mexico, which led to the first official Spanish expedition to the Cordillera in 1576. King Philip Roman III, waging the Thirty Year War, which needed funding, sent orders for large expeditions to the Philippines. In 1620, Captain Garcia de Aldana Cabra offered the resisting Igorot tribal leaders clemency if they were willing to accept Catholic religion, obey the Spanish government, and pay a fifth of all their mined gold to the Spanish king. They refused, and the Spanish conquerors built forts and organized military troops to start the exploitation of the gold mines. During the years that followed, the Spanish managed to trade gold despite setbacks from the Igorots, who because of their resistance remained relatively independent from Spanish rule. The price that the Igorots had to pay for this independence was that they became different from their colonized brothers. The Philippines staged Asia's first nationalistic revolution in 1896 and declared its independence on June 12, 1898. The newly founded country was soon taken over by the United States of America. The U.S. was the first foreign nation to fully invade the highlands of the Cordillera to push the mining operations in the territory. Spain relinquished control of the Philippines to the United States of America due to the Treaty of Paris 1898, which officially ended the hostilities of the Spanish-American War. After a short period of peace in the region, after the treaty was finalized, the Philippine-American War began until 1902, though pockets of fighting did not end until 1913. 
The result of these conflicts led to the U.S. declaring the Philippines a protectorate, a form of colonialism with local autonomy. The United States established strategic military bases in the Philippines with the consent of the established government. During World War Roman II, the Japanese temporarily seized control of the Philippines. A combined effort between the American armed forces and the Philippine Commonwealth military managed to successfully drive out the Japanese by 1945. On September 27, 1927, the Benke Consolidated Mining Company discovered one of the richest veins of gold ever, at a time when the U.S. was entering the Great Depression. This was the start of a real gold rush into Cordillera region. In 1929, there were 94 mining companies. By 1933, there were 17,812. This extreme growth had tremendous results for the landscape. It changed the original one-way mountain trail into a busy highway despite the road slides and cuts that occur up to this day. Again, similar to the fight against the Spanish, the indigenous inhabitants protested against the destruction of their land and the neglecting of their rights. Mining operations continued to grow, and by 1939 the Philippines ranked among the world's leading gold producers, and second to the state of California among U.S. producers. From 1936 to 1946, the Philippines was granted domestic self-administration under the Commonwealth of the Philippines as a transitional period for complete independence. From 1941 to 1945, the country fell under Japanese rule and was liberated by military forces of the United States of America, and there inside by the combined forces of the allied Philippine Commonwealth military forces and local Igorot and Cordilleran guerrilla forces in northern Luzon. The U.S. subsequently recognized Philippine independence on July 4, 1946. The independent republic's policy shifted towards the integration of the cultural minorities into mainstream culture. In 1966, the Philippine Congress passed the Separation Bill, dividing the old mountain province into four banked, Mountain Province Bontoc, Ifugao, and Kalinga Apeao. The political elite hoped that the creation of several provinces would, by increasing the region's representation, increase development spending in the area. Under the Marcos administration, politicization of the Cordillera took a new turn. National government development projects in the area were against the interests of the indigenous peoples and were strongly resisted by them. Particularly important were the Chico River Dam project and the Celifal project. The first threatened to inundate traditional villages. The second gave outsiders control over vast forest lands. Resistance resulted in increased regional consciousness rather than local ethnic consciousness. In 1986, the dictatorship of Ferdinand Marcos was overthrown by the People Power Revolution of the Philippines, and he was succeeded by Corazon Aquino. However, the Aquino administration failed to tackle substantial issues such as land reform and the restructuring of the economy. After the collapse of the negotiations between the government and the National Democratic Front NDF, Aquino declared the total war policy aimed at recovering New People's Army NPA-controlled areas and to destroy the NPA organizational and infrastructure base. The NPA had moved into the Cordillera to assist in the resistance against the projects. Gallery